Hello, everybody out there. I am starting this Facebook Live, and I'm always a little hesitant with Facebook Lives because it feels like I'm speaking into a huge void. I see there's one person here. Awesome. All right. There's one person here, so I know it's live. Thank you, Sh Shruti. You've helped me recognize that the live event's live. Um, it's always sort of funny to do Facebook Lives because you can see so much more of the background than you can on Zoom. I should have, I should have tidied some things up here. Um, so welcome to this Facebook Live on Living Life in a Body. Um, it is October 9th and 2019. And this is one of the sort of, well, many free things that I like to do in the year. Um, I don't do a lot of Facebook Lives. Well, I go through phases, I think, with Facebook Lives. And it's wonderful to see all of you guys out there. Thank you for letting me know you're there. Um, what is it going to take for life in a body to be ease, joy, glory, fun, pleasure, conscious? And what else is possible? What is possible for your body? that you don't believe is possible for your body, that if you allowed the possibility would create a totally different reality. So I'm going to be using the, hello everybody who's joining, I'm gonna be using the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement tool a lot in this Facebook Live. Um, if, I, if you're not familiar with the Access Clearing Statement, if somebody could post, maybe the clearingstatement.com website in the chat, that'd be really helpful. Um, I'm too dyslexic and spell too poorly to put the URL there properly quickly. Um, there is a website, theclearingstatement.com, that you can go to and learn what the access clearing statement means and how it works and what it is. But I'm not gonna spend a lot of time today explaining it because it's sort of like too big and I wanna get right into working with you guys. So I'm gonna be using the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement um, in this conversation, which is, I'll give you an example. So I ask a question. What is possible for your body that you don't believe is possible for your body that if you allowed the possibility would create a totally different reality? And everything that that is, everything that brings up, and everything that doesn't allow it, will you destroy and uncreate it, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. That's the access clearing statement. And thank you, Carol. She popped the URL for theclearingstatement.com. If any of you guys want to learn more about the access consciousness clearing statement, it's right there in the chat for you. Um, and please explore that. I'm gonna be using a lot of the tools of access consciousness. If you don't know me, my name is Shannon O'Hara. I'm never sure how to enter these things. Um, if you know me, if you don't know me, and I hope that if you did find this, you don't know me yet. And I also welcome all of the people who do know me. Welcome to Living Life in a Body, Access Consciousness Style. Um, and today I want to run some processes with you guys, which is really the bread and butter of access. It's the verbal processing we use to shift, change, transform reality by accessing the energy. What has, I like to put it like this. Basically, if you're watching this right now, you have a body. And actually, there's probably some people without bodies watching this right now, too, over some of your body's shoulders. Um, not to freak you out, but let's talk about those of you guys with bodies. So if you're watching this right now, you probably have a body. And has your life with your body been awesome or not awesome? One of the things that I discovered through getting more conscious using the tools of access was that I had a body. <laughs> And that this body has these incredible gifts um, that are available if you will have them. So how many of you guys have been trying to get out of your body or get rid of your body? So every time you judge your body, is that working with the body or is that a way of trying to separate from the body? So all of the judgments that you have of your body... Will you revoke, recant, rescind, renounce, denounce, destroy, and create them all, please? 
All you have to do is think, yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And all of everybody else's judgments of their bodies that your body is picking up on and you're mistaking it as your body's judgment or your judgment of your body, will you destroy and uncreate all the judgments that you're picking up from everybody else about bodies and return them all to sender with consciousness attached. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, pop, shorts, boys and beyonds. Again, if you're just joining and you don't understand what that weird pod pock thing I'm doing is, that's the access consciousness clearing statement. Um, in the chat window, there is a URL for a website called theclearingstatement.com. I would invite you to go there and check it out. And because I'm not going to do any explaining of the clearing statement, I'm just going to use the clearing statement a lot with you guys. And welcome to living life in a body. And what would it take for your life relationship and reality with your body to be awesome? And everything that doesn't allow your life living in reality with your body to be amazing and awesome, will you just and create a please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, mans. Everywhere you've already become hopeless about your body, will you destroy it and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, beyonds. Woo! Apparently a lot of you guys have been hopeless with your bodies. So whose hopelessness with bodies have you been picking up on? And everywhere that your body has been picking up on other people's hopelessness with their bodies, will you... So there's this little thing in access we like to call awareness. And our bodies are aware. They have their own consciousness. Um, I like to... It's this interesting ingredient or sort of recipe of life living. Um, without a body, you would still be a being, but you wouldn't be living. You'd be being. And so life with a body provides us with all of these other experiences, sensations, possibilities that we wouldn't have without a body. And how many of you guys have bought into that you can only be conscious or aware, or go to heaven when you die. And everywhere you bought that is real and true, and everywhere the body was made into the problem, shall we destroy and uncreate this now, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, beyonds, and how many lifetimes have you been functioning from the wrongness of bodies? And will you guys destroy and uncreate all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys, events. I want to get to this little statement. Ah, sorry, I lose. It's really interesting. The chat's going so quick that I'm like losing some of your guys' comments um, and questions. But somebody typed in, Rebecca typed in, um, oh, Rebecca, maybe you have, might have to retype it about your body's awareness because it went up in the chat and I literally, it's like Facebook won't let me go back up to see it, which... I've never seen that before, but there's like so much happening in the chat. It's moving so quickly. Um, okay, so let's talk about body awareness. It's like, have you been, have you been <sighs> honoring of the fact that your body has awareness or have you been trying to avoid your body's awareness? And this is the thing. When you try to avoid your body's awareness, now what if all physical pain sensation, all of the weird stuff that goes on that can we can call pain or sickness or discomfort with bodies. What if all of that is actually not wrong or a problem? What if it's awareness of a possibility? So what is possible with your body that you do not believe is possible with your body that if you allowed the possibility would create a totally different reality and everything that is and everything that brings up. We all destroy and uncreate it, please. Thank you. Right, wrong, good, battle, nine, pud, puck, shorts, boys, man's. Oh, Rebecca wrote, oh, thank you, Alba. She wrote, posted Rebecca's thing. My body has a ton of awareness and I didn't always know how to receive that. Awesome, cool. So let's talk about that today. Because it's like, are we taught, educated, empowered to be aware of our bodies? to 
have bodies to understand the way that the body communicates through energies, sensations. One of the things that I think is really awesome about how access consciousness facilitates body stuff is that we basically come from the point of view that there isn't anything wrong. So if there isn't anything wrong with your body, what's going on? And so if you can start from the question of what is this rather than the conclusion of there's something wrong and let's face it, how easy it is to go into, how easy is it to go into judgment that there's something wrong with your body or something wrong with having a body when you're faced with something like cancer or breaking your leg or, you know, having really intense physiological problems and I am not intending to minimize the experience that people go through with their bodies because let's face it some people have a really hard time with bodies and sometimes people have an easier time with bodies and so if you're here today I'd love to ask you what is possible for your body that you don't even believe is possible for your body, that is totally possible for your body, that if you allowed it, would create a different physiological reality. And everything that is, everything that brings up, and everything that doesn't allow it, will you destroy and uncreate it, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, online, pod, pod, shorts, boys, mans. There's another question in the chat. What do we do if our bodies remember traumas that have been locked up? Okay, this is awesome. Um, the thing is, the body is this highly complex conscious organism, and it has memory, awareness, and functionalities that, quite frankly, I think we have not even begun to discover, recognize, and realize. Science is nowhere near understanding the fascinating elegance and deeply complex miracles that the body performs on a daily basis without us putting any effort in at all. It's 100% natural body energy. And so the body has all these capabilities. Now, I'm a proponent of saying, what if, sorry, let's start from this question. What's right about this you're not getting? So if you put a very aware organism, like your body, into a abusive or insane environment your body's going to be aware of that and how often do you make it your body's problem that it's aware of the abuse or the insanity rather than recognizing ah my body's giving me information about how insane this is or how abusive this person's being um for example i was at the post office yesterday and it was, it was quite a long line, but I was just standing there with my husband chit-chatting and on my phone and stuff. And this guy came in kind of behind me and got into his post office box. Um, and as soon as this guy started walking down the aisle, like kind of over there towards me, my body started to like hunch over and there was this pain in my kidneys, like crippling pain in my kidneys. And i and in the past, I actually would have gone into, oh, pain, like, oh, I have pain, but I know better than that now. And I knew it was him. And so like, I just sort of like bent over and I was like, oh, this really hurts. And he got his mail and he left. And as soon as his body left the post office, I could stand up and I felt fine. And it was such an intense awareness and sensation in my kidneys, but it was my body giving me information about what was going on either in that man's world or his body. I'm still not totally sure what it was. But for example, like if I had to like live with a person like that, or I had somebody in my life who my body was having that kind of a response to, I'd obviously look at it a lot more, ask a lot more questions and thank my body for giving me the information. Now, stuff can only get stuck in your body or locked into the body if you are being unaware So, what awareness have you been refusing that you could be choosing? 
that if you chose it, would unwind, unlock, and set your body free from everything you do not want to be aware of. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. <whistles> mm. And like, let me give a little bit more information about how stuff can only get stuck or locked in the body if you're unaware. So, because we can make easily that into a judgment, and that's not what I mean. Um, so it's like, as little kids, do you have the wherewithal to like understand and get a lot of the weird shit that people are doing around you? So like, for example, when I was a little kid, it's like I wanted to take care of and heal and make everybody happy. Not much has changed. That's still my MO. However, I am a lot more sort of like intelligent about who I know can receive that and who won't receive that and that it is a gift and not a curse. So how many of you guys have decided that awareness, especially awareness through your body was a punishment and a curse rather than a gift and a power? Is there anything that is? We need to strain and create it, please. All right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pud, pug, shorts, boys and beyonds. Mm, 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 mm. Hello, everybody who's hopping on here now. I'm so happy to see you here. Um, we've already gotten to some amazing stuff, so I encourage all of you guys to watch this from the beginning when it gets posted on my page. Um, okay, so body's awareness. So stuff can only get stuck or locked into the body when you are being unaware. Let me give more information about that. When you're a little kid, do you have the wherewithal, the information to get what's going on? Um, and so many of us grow up, we sort of have to face it, like growing up in this reality is abusive. And I don't mean the earth, I mean the insanity that people function from. Just sort of being in this reality is this incredible abuse of the being. It's like this reality is all about why you can't and that you can't and you can't and you won't and you're limited and you're stupid and you're wrong and separation and problems and judgment and so on and so forth. The earth is ever gifting. It's people who are insane. And so when you come in as a little kid, it's like you're aware of all of the judgments that your parents have of their bodies and all of the judgments that your grandparents have of their own bodies and all of the points of view and judgments that people around you have about everything under the sun. And your body is going to start giving you information about those bodies and that's what it is it's information it's not it's not actually it's not actually a problem and it's oftentimes not yours something that we talk about in access is what if 99.9% .9 of your thoughts feelings and emotions don't actually belong to you so if that's real and true if 99.9% .9 of your thoughts, the things that you think are your thoughts, your feelings, your sensations, your emotions, if those aren't yours, what is real and true for you? And what most people do is they live their entire life at the effect of other people's points of view, other people's feelings, other people's emotions, other people's projections, expectations, and judgments without ever asking, is this even my problem? Because we're all aware. So we can pick up on other people's stuff, other people's thoughts. That's just what's going on, period. It's just no one acknowledges it. So now it's up to you to acknowledge that you are aware. And if you do not acknowledge awareness, that's when you get stuck, period. You have the power to acknowledge. But how many of you guys fundamentally believe more in pain and suffering than you do in ease, joy, and awareness? So I think that is, we just strain and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, pock, shorts, boys, beyonds. Who are you being when you prefer 
pain and suffering over ease, joy, and awareness. And whoever that is, whoever you've decided to be that you might not even be conscious that you decided to be, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. And if 99% of your thoughts, feelings, emotions, pains, sufferings, limitations, etc., don't belong to you, what is real and true for you? And this is where the true fun begins. When you recognize that all the pain and suffering isn't yours. So what is yours? And what is possible? And that's when your body could begin to start showing you what's possible that you don't believe is possible. So what is possible for your body that you don't believe is possible for your body? Because no one else believes it's possible for their body, but it is absolutely possible for your body. That if you allow the possibility, would create a totally different reality. And everything that is, and everything that brings up, and everything that doesn't allow a totally different possibility with your body. Will you destroy and create? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud puck, shorts, boys and beyonds. And this is the thing. It's this is a very small conversation that's going to be a drop in the vast sea of your life experiences. And so when we're talking about bodies and when we're talking about awareness, OMG, is this a different conversation than most people are willing to even believe is possible out in the world. And so if you're watching this, you're, and if you, mm, let me ask, if you had your reality with your body, what would that be? Now, somebody's typed, my body was sick with a chest infection and asthma as a young child. Okay, well, there's not really a question there, so I'm not really sure how to address that. Um, but something that you really need to, if you'd like some tools for how to have greater ease with your body, number one, whenever your body has a pain, a sickness, you need to ask, body, what are you telling me? Period. <laughs> or question mark, body, what are you telling me? Okay, because how often do you go into, oh, pain, oh, problem, oh, sickness, what pill, what person, what thing outside of me can solve this problem I'm having with my body? Rather than recognizing that that pain, that sickness, that sensation could actually be your body giving you information. What information has your body been giving you all your life that you have not wanted to acknowledge? And everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, and receive, the information your, bo your body is for you in your journey of awareness. We just try and create everything that doesn't make that possible. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, puck, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And look, it's like if you're getting to the point where you're having some extreme physiological stuff like Crohn's disease, like cancer, like everything, what awareness have you been refusing that you could be choosing? And this is a very inspiring slash frustrating conversation. Because what would you rather die? What would you rather die away from than have to deal with? And everywhere you've decided that dying was a better solution than being aware. You just try and create all this, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine pud puck shorts, boys, yes, eeks. That's a lot, you guys. So another question, what is it when we feel like our bodies are on drugs, pills, anesthetics, or anything else in order to be lethargic? 
Like we are not there. Who does it belong to? 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 So who does it belong to is one of the primary fundamental beginning basic foundational tools of access that you're given like right in the beginning. And it is still a tool that I use to this day that revolutionizes my life. It's so incredible how much stuff doesn't belong to you. Remember, if all the pain, suffering, unconsciousness, lethargy, sickness isn't yours, what is real and true for you? And if the body is, and if the body is unhappy or sick, it's like, what awareness are you refusing that you could be choosing? And what have you already decided you would rather die than have to deal with? And everything that is, you guys destroy and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys, and beyonds. So here's someone's writing in, I had Crohn's disease and ran bars three times. A disease is gone. I went back to eat all kinds of food, but I am still afraid of that. Again, that's super cool. So this person is basically saying that they had their bars run three times and completely cured their Crohn's disease. However, it's funny that you're saying that you're still afraid that you're going to go back there again. I mean, look, it's like, I'm going to say something super annoying that's going to maybe inspire some people and really anger others. It's like I see every problem as a possibility to get more aware and more conscious. And if you're not willing to be more aware and more conscious, you're probably not going to be changing stuff that's going on. And let's face it, a lot of people would rather die than get aware and get conscious. And I think that that's okay. Like if you don't want to live in a body, that's the other thing I wanted to say. It's like, what would it be like if we lived in a world where not being in a body was actually allowed? I was, um, I feel like everyone's like, I'm hearing a lot about like a lot of suicides recently. And um, I have like a really different point of view about suicide because I've dealt with entities for so many years of my life. My sort of first main business was something called Talk to the Entities. And I still to this day facilitate Talk to the Entities. So I spend a lot of time talking to entities. <laughs> and I would talk to so many beings that, I realized that it's like, number one, death doesn't actually solve a lot. Like it's, that's one of the other things that people should be aware of. Like you're never going to escape having to be aware and to being conscious. Like that's never going to, you're never going to escape that. You're going to have to get conscious no matter what, whatever, however many lifetimes it takes. And, but there's also this really big significance that we put on like preserving life, especially in this day and age with all of the medication and the hospitals where people who want to die and whose bodies are dying, we preserve their lives unnaturally for a really long time. And we're not, we don't tend to look at the choice to die as a positive or even a permittable thing in our societies. In fact, it's considered like suicide is a mortal sin, not a total choice. And so I'm a real believer in like, if you don't want to be here in a body, like you shouldn't be, you know, it's like, you should, you should go. And if you are enjoying, and cause life with a body is actually to get the greatness of embodiment. That means to literally enjoy through the body. How much of your life has been about the greatness of embodiment versus the pain and suffering and sacrificing of the body, you know? So it's like all the judgments that you have of your body that prevent you from accessing the ease, joy, and glory that your body can be, the pleasure and the possibility. Will you destroy and create all that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine pod, poc, shorts, boys and beyonds. I'm um, sorry, I'm just reading some of the comments and the questions that you guys are sending in. Um, so, so someone's asking, so what about high blood pressure? So you guys, it's like the same basic tools. And I know they're so easy that you're like not even hearing it. You're like, this. surely there has to be something harder than this. 
I'm here to tell you the good news is that consciousness is easy. I'm also here to tell you that the bad news is that this is going to be easier than you think it should be. So if you're having high blood pressure, Crohn's disease, any kind of physiological sickness, pain, discomfort, lethargy, etc. Number one question is, who does this belong to? Or what does this belong to? Because also, what if your body is aware of the earth? Now, fact, your body is made from the same stuff that the earth and all of the cosmos is made of, like literally. This isn't like an airy fairy new age thing to say, this is like a literal thing. Literally your hair, your teeth, your body, your blood, your bones, all the chemistry, etc., is the same materials, building blocks that the earth is made of and that everything in the universe is made of, like literally your hair is made of stardust. And so our bodies are part of the earth. And that's not theoretical. Without a body, the earth would be amazing. Without the earth, you would have no body. The body is an organism of the earth. It's like a walking, talking plant. And so we are connected to the earth. And through our thinking, through our emotions, through our minds, we disconnect from the earth. And in so doing, stop receiving from the earth and all of the cosmos through the body, which is really what the magic of being here on earth with the body is, is to receive through the body, with the body, from the cosmos. And as the body receives, so does it also gift. So what crazy person did you allow to distract you from the pleasure, the power, and the unstoppable possibility of gifting and receiving with the body and everything that that is and everything that doesn't allow you to access. More of that now, please you to strain and create it. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pud, puck, shirts, boys, and ants. And wherever you are out there right now, what I would really love to ask you to do is to really relax. And push down the barriers that you have that you might not even be aware that you're walking around with. So really push down the barriers in your head. And if you're not cognitive that you have barriers, it doesn't matter, still just do it, it'll work. Push down the barriers in your head more, please. Let yourself be like totally vulnerable with your body. Like really relax. Relax down all the barriers that keep you separate from sensing your body. Push down the barriers that you might have on your back. Just for right now, you can put them back up later. All of the barriers you use to stop your body from receiving the good and the bad, push all those down right now with me. Wherever you are, just super duper relax. Push down the barriers in your stomach, around your chest, pushing down the barriers, relaxing your feet, opening your feet more, going, moving down through the feet, through the foundation of the building that you're in, or if you're on the earth, down into the earth. Allow your body to go through what it needs to go through to process the energies that it's always processing. And if you start thinking, that's a barrier.
Now push down that barrier that makes you feel weird when you're relaxed. And let yourself feel weird if that's what it takes. Submit to your body's powers and to your body's sensations. And recognize that you have been miseducated about what your body is and how it works. And so to change your life and have a totally phenomenal living with a body, you must start to create a awareness with, 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 with your body. How many points of view have you been told and sold about what the right thing to do with your fucking body is? The right thing to eat, the wrong thing to eat, the right way to walk, the right way to dress, the wrong way to sit, the right way to sleep, etc., etc., etc. So all of the points and views and judgments that everybody gave to you that you bought about your body that have nothing to do with what really works for your body. Will you destroy it and create it all, please? Thank you. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pod, pock, shorts, boys and beyond. And you must start asking your body questions. I know that sounds crazy, but it works. And the thing is, most of us just simply literally do not have a connection to what works with the body. And we tend not to listen. The body tells us, the body tells us with cancer. The body tells us with indigestion. The body tells us with gas. The body tells us with, you know, lethargy. The body communicates constantly with us about what works and about what it's aware of, you know? And it's like, do you listen to your body? Or is your body a second class citizen? So what is possible for your body that you do not believe is possible for your body? And if you allowed the possibility, it would create a totally different reality. Everything that is and everything that brings up, let's just throw in and create it. Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine, pub, pop, shorts, boys, beyonds. So this is a huge topic, you guys. And I know that so many of you desire something so different with your bodies. And so, good news, there's a way. And it's going to require you to choose. So, for those of you guys that desire something different, number one, you have got to start to recognize that your body is aware and not that your body has problems. Like, that's going to be a really huge one to shift. Number two, Access has incredible tools and processes that are literally designed to transform consciousness with your body and through your body. So the bars is the original body process. It's the foundational process of access. It's the absolute first thing that you learn. It's a light touched on the head. If you have never had your bars run before, um, if somebody could put a the URL, please, for access consciousness bars um, here in the chat so you guys who want to check that out can. There are people who are bars facilitators and bars practitioners all around the world, um, literally everywhere. <laughs> so uh, get your bars run. That will start to change your life and also create a lot greater, more ease for your body. And then there are incredible body process classes that are literally three days. Or you can do a one-day body process class. You can do a three-day body process class that's full of hands-on body processes that when run and when used completely transform not only the way that your body feels, the way that your body looks, the way that your body functions, but also facilitate and alter the transformation of consciousness. Trust me, you won't believe it until you experience it yourself. So I look forward to playing with these tools with all of you guys out there in the world um, I want to invite you to a different possibility. I'm this crazy person who actually wants everyone to be happy. <laughs> I'll let you know if I succeed at that. Um, and what choice can you make for you and your body today to change your whole life and create a totally different reality? 
right away. I would like to see you at one of my body classes. I would like to see you at any three-day body class, facilitator's body class, and an advanced body class, at an access foundation class, at a bars class, at a gifting and receiving, somewhere, something, choose something, use the tools, they work. And no matter how big your problems with your body seem today, and tr like, really, like, what are the infinite possibilities? And what is it that's actually possible that you do not believe is possible? That if you allowed the possibility, would create a totally different reality. Are you willing to have your universe transformed? Are you willing to not live by the same limitations that everybody else thinks are real and true? Thanks, you guys. How does it get better than this? I'll see you out in the world. Thank you so much for being here with me. Be fucking awesome. And even more, have a happy body. Hi, guys.